Uh, Nikolas Konstantinopoulos, uh, President International of Freedom Pop, uh, is the fourth or fifth time I participate into these formal meetings and uh, first time actually into the global meeting here in Amsterdam. Freedom Pop is a startup MVNO. We are operational in the United States and the UK. We are expanding into a number of markets in uh, different regions of the world, from the, uh, Europe to Latin America to Southeast Asia. Uh, we, uh, the, the model of uh, Freedom Pop is based on a freemium model, where we provide to the end user uh, free uh, bundles on a monthly basis, and of course all our efforts into upselling uh, additional traffic and additional digital services to the end user. That has been done with a success so far. For the last uh, three years we have achieved a conversion rate of 48% and similar is the story of the UK which was out only six months ago. The MVNOs they go through a trend of shifting from their positioning as targeting specific segments and of course trading GSM capacity to uh, again hitting on more generic segments than before, trading digital services. And I see that uh, follow-up of the trend building up not only in our developed markets, but in developing markets as well, where the end user, they're looking for solutions which are only, not only delivering any more the traffic, but a number of additional services that only a mobile uh, operator can, can, can reach out to the, its end users. Uh, and being in the markets for the last 10 years has always been a question what is going to be the ceiling. And we always saw that year after year the Vienna's market they managed to exceed expectations. I trust they will continue in a positive trend. Eventually, one day on a global scale, we're going to reach a ceiling, but not yet, because there are new markets opening up. We have still, for example, China, which opened only two years ago, still has an untapped potential in the, uh, the, the, the regulatory um, committee uh, opened up the MVNO market only last week. Uh, what we are going to see in, in Western Europe, I think we're going to be able to see somewhere a flattening of the growth. But at the same time, we're going to see a uh, shifting, again, of the growth coming from more digitalization rather than more traffic-enabled services. Um, Forums like this uh, of Informa have been great for us in order to be able not only to uh, check whether our, our, our profile matches the, the, the evolving trends of the MVNOs, but to see also what uh, we think also of other players. So we find also interesting opportunities to partner with either MNOs or other MVNOs who we have a common view of the markets and we could eventually develop into a partnership which is going to be more, more tangible delivering the results in the short to long term. Yeah, so it's a, it's a great networking opportunity itself, either, either if it's structured or organized by Informa, by bringing the parties together into a panel or an exchange of ideas, but most of the work happens informally. So we can see, indeed, the network being the core of the, of the presence of many players here. And also, it's not only on the uh, trying to find you know, uh, an additional revenue generator or additional client, but also to the uh, uh, specific exchange of ideas and cross-checking and testing whether we're on the right path. And what we see today is most of the players we were discussing in the last months, we participate in this kind of events, to confirm and ask confirm to them that the industry and specific initiatives go in the right direction.